everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about music drum. For those of you that follow me on YouTube, you know, we, we discuss a lot about resident frequency and the limbic system, and we'll, we'll talk about that. But this is a study that now takes that vibrational energy that, you know, we've hypothesized triggers the limbic system, and then the limbic system is going to produce something for us. It's going to actually produce a transmitted dopamine. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So it's just part of this whole process about music. So let's talk about what they do. In the study, they defined it as a complex pattern of auditory stimulizations. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess we can accept that about our music, right? Technical uh, definition of something that you know, we know very well. So the past research has focused on the physiological changes in our autonomous nervous system. So it's the modification, uh, what, what do they call it? Uh, yeah, modulation of mesolimbric reward pathways like sex and food. So these are automatic responses. This is our autonomous, 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 yeah, autonomous nervous system. So this is the breathing and, you know, all the things that we do that we don't have to think about. We don't have to, you know, check the app all the time to make sure our heart's beating. We don't have to check the app to make sure we're breathing. So this is your automatic functions that uh, go in into the system that we have as humans. So their focus in the past has been on the physiological so the physical let's see if we can get something out yeah the physical changes that's what we're after the physical stuff here so we we know that music invokes these tremendous responses and we've hypothesized that it triggers the limbic system you know to react well this is another series in that process so let's keep going with this there's it's complicated, and I'm just pulling words out of it so you kind of get a, t a text, but read the abstract. You know, we'll put the abstract up at the end, and you can read it so you get an idea of the study. And then, if you want to, read the study or jump to the conclusions. There's all kinds of ways to approach this, depending on your workload and time frame. So, they never talked about neurotransmission systems in the studies, and they never focused on that in the beginning. Strictly physiological, okay, which is fine. That's a good start, right? But what they found that, that there's a, this is a great word, dopa, mineralogistic circuit. Yeah, do, dopa, so it's a dopamine transmission system, a neurotransmitter. So it's a drug. So what do we got through all this? So remember the resonant frequency we discussed in the limbic system. You can look up limbic system. So we have the vibrations from music striking us and then triggering a limbic response. Study the limbic system and you'll get the idea. And then that in turn triggers a dopamine response. So we have the vibrational reaction in the limbic system, which triggers the dopamine. What, what do they call it? The uh, Dopa, whatever you want to call that, circuit. Crazy, huh? So everything is kind of tied together, you know, starting, you know, with a basic system and then adding, you know, vibrations to it and producing this. This is why I always harp about resolution because everything is connected. The resolution of your system, the vibrations that you receive, the limbic system processing, and then the dopamine trigger. There's a whole series of processes here. And you, you shouldn't, well, you can't cheat on these. You're going to get these anyway, right? But you can't cheat on these. The resolution of that has to be in its purest form so that all these other systems then can work well together. That's the goal. So we want to make sure it all fits together and works together. 
And that's why I constantly preach about resolution. That's why I constantly preach about you can have the same resolution in your low frequencies, bass, as you can in your mids and highs. People still don't believe that because for years and years, that's what they've accepted. It's a belief system that's not founded in reality. Trust me. We can give you the same definition in the low end as the mids and highs that you have. That's easy. Shorter wavelengths, right? All right, so this direct pathway music and the resolution is critical. Critical because that's the start of the process. Music drug, read this study. The links in the, should be in this video. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.